Try this one over again. Here's a Clement St. Cyr sap releaser. About 25 inches on the vacuum right now. Sap level is now coming up to the top. It's going to be tripping pretty soon. There it goes. It just changed sides. Now it's going to be sucking sap up the right hand side of the milk can. Sap is dumping out now on this left hand side with it just just dump sap. Now if you can see this right hand side, right hand side now the sap level is coming, coming up in the can. Once it gets up, we'll try to watch the top. It's about a half a can right now. We'll watch the top trip. It's going to be getting ready to trip. There it goes. You just heard the vacuum release now on the right hand can. Now it's filling the left hand can. We're just doing this little uh, in this tray right here. And this is where the sap comes in in the back. This is where your main line hooks in right here. And actually there's another uh, short piece right there for if you wanted to go to gravity. You've got it kind of regulated with a valve. Got a deal of valve 73 running this. 25 inches of vacuum. Can just trip now. Dumping from this left hand side. Here comes the float coming down, showing the level in that particular milk can. Alright, Christine, you gotta shut this hose off. Got more than enough water in there. And we'll watch it one more time. The vacuum gauge is sticking up there. Should be about 25 inches. Sap level is coming up in the can. If I can hold this still, see it rising. There it goes. It just released the sap. Now dumping sap from this right hand side. There's the deal of Al 73 again running the system. There it is. Right here. Now it's coming back down again. There is flats the same style as inside the can that are actually working just like a regular twin Bernard or Lafayette milk can released it. It looks just about like this on the inside of the can. And in just a second, we're going to get the other spare top out, give you a shot of that, so you can kind of see the inside working mechanisms of this can. This is what the actual inside milk can looks like inside. These are your particular floats. This will shut your vacuum off. And your vacuum leakage here to release actually comes through this little stem part right here. This is just like a rubber inner tube almost for a vacuum seal against the uh, can to hold the vacuum on there. Okay, I guess that's about it. Enjoy the video.